There is this video, CCNA is not a cybersecurity certification. And you won't believe how many negative comments I received. Yeah, am I hurt? Nah, it's really part of what we do as a content creator. And I already accept the fact that if you tell the truth and you share your unbiased opinion, you will get some hate. However, I decided to just provide more knowledge, better explanation on things. And that's what we're going to do in this video. Here's the thing. I've been in training and certification business for a long time. I know the history. I authored some courses that you may already have attended. I have this underrated qualifications. Ready? I have over 70 IT certifications. 50 plus of those are Cisco certs. And I have delivered over 40 course titles in over 30 countries. And as usual, comment below and shout out your location. Like nice video Dean from Congo, Pakistan, Malaysia. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city like from Calgary, Omaha, Brasilia, etc. Let's talk about history. Prior February of 2020, these are the Cisco Associate Level Certifications. CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate. We have multiple tracks. We have CCNA Routing and Switching, CCNA Security, CCNA Collaboration, CCNA Service Provider, CCNA Data Center, and CCNA Wireless. So basically, all of the CCIE tracks we have now. Again, we used to have six CCNA tracks. Oh, actually, it's not just six. We have a total of seven because there was CCNA Cyber Ops. Cyber Ops stands for Cybersecurity Operations. We also have CCDA, or Cisco Certified Design Associate. Now, in February of 2020, around February 20 plus, like 23, 24, or 25, they made these major changes in Cisco certification. They retire most of these associate level certifications. CCNA Security, retired. CCNA Collaboration, retired. CCNA Data Center, retired. CCNA Wireless, and even CCDA are all retired except for CCNA Routing and Switching and CCNA Cyber Ops. They rebranded the two. CCNA Routing and Switching became just CCNA. CCNA Cyber Ops became Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Associate. So here's the question. Which one of the two is a cybersecurity certification? CCNA Routing and Switching or CCNA Cyber Ops? Both CCNA and Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Associate are associate level. Cisco decided to add an easier level. This is the new entry level certifications. We have CCNA entry level, it's now called CCSD networking. And for Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Associate entry level, it's now called CCSD cybersecurity. If you will compare, hmm, is it not obvious that the first track is for network related role and the other is for cybersecurity related role. We don't stop there because just recently Cisco who consistently rebranding certifications, the Cisco Cyber Ops track is no longer called Cyber Ops. Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Associate is now called Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate. The Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Professional this is now called Cisco Cyber, Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Professional. They changed the name because many people just don't get it. CCNA is still called CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate, and CCNP is still called CCNP or Cisco Certified Networking Professional. So another question is, which one is a cybersecurity certification? CCNA or Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate. Many people would say, 
companies don't hire cybersecurity without knowing networking skills, or you can't learn cybersecurity without networking. Well, first, Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate covers the basics of networking, and that's enough. Now, if you're going to compare it with CCNA, CCNA focuses not just networking basics, but managing routers and switches. Now, let me ask you this. How many CISSP you know who are CCNA and can troubleshoot switches and routers? How many penetration testers you know who are CCNA and can troubleshoot routers and switches? So I have this video, the best cybersecurity roles and specialization. We have six roles. Let's break it down. I will score one to five for both CCNA and Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate. So one is no need for CCNA knowledge and five is CCNA knowledge is a must. Now, another score, one is no need for Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate knowledge and five, Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate knowledge is a must. So let's begin. We have rank six, digital forensic engineer or digital forensic investigator. I will score it two for CCNA. Yeah, two only. And four for Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate. Two for CCNA because there is a possibility that you will do network analysis, maybe through Wireshark. But the digital forensic investigator, I know they specialize in Celebrite and has zero knowledge in managing Cisco routers and switches. Rank five GRC officer or GRC analyst. I'll score it one for CCNA and three for Cisco certified cybersecurity associate. Do you think those people who create security policies and follows compliance need to configure Cisco routers and switches? I know many of these people are not even technical. They don't even know what is one plus one in binary. Rank four, penetration testers. I will score this two for CCNA and uh, between Linux and networking skills, it's more Linux, you know? I know over 10 penetration testers and only two of them are CCNA. And I ask them, do you use your routing and switching skills? The answer is, of course not. I will score four for Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate because one of the objectives of this course and this certification is to defend from attackers using various techniques and tools. All right, rank three, SOC analysts or SOC engineers. I will score this three as well. Well, not three. I will score this three for CCNA. I'm quite generous here, you know? The Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Path is really designed for this role. So why would you go for CCNA? Again, Cisco, Cer Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Path is designed for this role. So for sure, I will give it five. Rank two, Cloud Security Engineer. I will score this four for CCNA and three for Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate only because I believe you would understand cloud VPC better if you know how to manage switches and routers. But cloud is huge. Your CCNA is not enough. And between CCNA and Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate, I would say CCNA is better for this role. Rank one, security engineer or security architect. I'll score five for both certifications. It's a tie, yes, because if you manage and design security infrastructure, routers, switches, wireless, and firewalls will always be there, regardless of the size. For this role, you also need to understand endpoint security, threats and attack vectors, and many others, which is not related to CCNA. Actually, this role is more for CCNP security. Here is the overall score. CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate got a total of 17 points. For Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate, a total of 24 points. So 
which one is a cybersecurity certification? CCNA or Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate? So you can compare, actually, you can compare the outline and the curriculum of both certifications, CCNA and Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate. Yeah, let's do it now. Let's compare. So here is CCNA. So how many of this module you think are appreciated by GRC officers, pet testers, security engineers, etc. Now here is Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate. I am 100% sure all of these modules are useful and appreciated by SOC engineers.